I'm with my family and I as we go to Bothnik and listen to Miss Darlene Jones read. I'm exhausted, if I'm gonna be, keep it real. Last night. Welcome back to this week's vlog. Hello, hello. It is technically Saturday, so we should have started possibly Thursday, but it's fine. It's my channel, so I do as I please, right? As long as I'm consistent. What am I talking about? I am posting weekly YouTube videos every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will get a dose of your favorite nurse yogi where I share my road to full-time entrepreneurship, mom life, mental health, yoga, all of that stuff. So I'm really tired right now, but I wanted to just share a lesson in real time about, okay, I'm putting you in the tripod so that I can fold. Okay. So I just wanted to share a lesson in real time about like not doing all of the things and how I want to do all of the things. Sorry, it's like, y'all, y'all know how this goes. I'd be like wanting to make sure it's level, but it's not. So um, tonight there is an event. I want to go to it, but I know that I don't need to. And I'm doing my best to not say shouldn't, even though I said that earlier. But uh, long story short, I really do want to go, but I'm I'm exhausted, if I'm going to be, keep it real. Last night or this morning, we came home really late um, to celebrate a friend's birthday, and like we brought the kids and stuff, and then like we woke up early to like take the kids to um, book Nick, so shout out to my friend Candice, who is the um, founder of Booknik, which is a nonprofit that promotes uh, child literacy, um, like in elementary and middle school, I believe. I hope I'm not butchering that, but it's all about childhood, child literacy and how important it is that kids read. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think Candace mentioned this when she, um, she like, uh, I remember her presenting the nonprofit Booknik and Florida, that's where I live, has one of the lowest literacy levels so she's doing something about it so anyways um i took the kids to that today and darlene jones was the author and she came to read her book um so i'll insert that reel because that will be done by the time i edit this but we did that I'm with my family and I as we go to Booknik and listen to Ms. Darlene Jones read Luke Learns. Booknik is a nonprofit that is all about encouraging little ones to read, and today we met at Children's Safety Village. Nancy, the founder and executive director of Booknik. Booknik is a nonprofit organization with the whole mission of developing a love of reading and learning with our elementary and middle school kids. So and then we got some yummy snacks before we got into listening to the reading. <laughs> I am a member of the Orlando Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and I'm the chair of our Arts and Letters Committee. We talk about social action, that's in everything we do, and we want to ensure that you all are reminded of your opportunity to use your voice to impact the education of your children directly. It was career week at Luke School. All of the kids were so excited. There was so much to do about all, to look all around to present to the class the career they had fed. After we listened to the reading, Ms. Darlene Jones signed our kids' books, and then yes. we did a scavenger so, hunt. First one we're looking for is this one, the money store. See where if they find it. Yeah, good job, Am Scott, yeah. <laughs> then we came home, ate lunch, because there's food at home, and then we went right back out to my friend's daughter, Trinity. She had her talent show. So now we are back home from those two events. And um, I technically could go to the event tonight, but I'm just like, I'm tired. And like, I also didn't drink coffee today because I technically drank two cups yesterday. This is coffee math for you, right? So I drank like one like around one cup of coffee around like uh, noon. That was like a shot of espresso. And then I drank the second shot of espresso after 6 p.m. Um, because we, I knew we were gonna be out all night. Um, and then yeah, I was up later than I would like, whatever. So then today I'm like, I'm toying. I'm like, I'm tired right now because it's technically 3.41. Um, I'm like, man, I should do that again. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to like, cold, like not, well, not cold turkey. I'm going to drink it tomorrow. But I'm like, I'm not going to drink any caffeine today. And then tomorrow is Sunday. 
I'll drink a cup tomorrow. Um, I do have homework to do, but what I'm, I think I'm gonna do though is this. I'm going to put this laundry away, so thank you for helping me do my laundry. I'm gonna do a workout, because I didn't get my workout done, and I'm on this thing of like 30 days of movement, just me, myself, and I. Um, so I'm gonna do my movement. Um, I already meditated and did my devotion this morning, so yay me. Um, but I'm gonna do my movement, and today is a chill day. I'll see if I can insert my workout routine that I that chat GPT helped me make so today is supposed to be like a chill laid back day then I'm gonna take a nap will we take a nap till tomorrow I don't know but we're gonna we're just gonna sleep and see how long I sleep and then uh, depending on how long I sleep then I'm gonna try to do some homework because I have one assignment that's due tomorrow I didn't even like look at it and I'm a little nervous to see how long that's gonna take me because it's due tomorrow and then that's it. Yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so one of the things um, on my list since reading, so I've finally been reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'll insert it here. And I kind of had been putting on reading that book because I was like, I'm a very productive person. Like, hold on, there's something on my screen. Okay, I was like, I'm a very productive person. Like, I don't need, you know, more um, self-help. Like, I kind of was self-help tap out if you will because like a few years ago I did like life I had a life coach and I had a therapist and like I was doing all of the things and because of like sowing all of those seeds long story short um I say all this I was just kind of burnt out not burnt out that's such a dramatic word but I was just kind of over self-help so like if I um the books I had been have been reading with the exception of now reading Atomic Habits have been like romance and like you know like um fiction books okay so anyways um shout out to my friend Yumi she has a book club on Twitch so if you're not familiar with Twitch it's like the largest like gamer streaming place so she um is over there on Twitch where she is doing a book club it is every tuesday wednesday and thursday and we're reading the top 50 self-help books and atomic habits is one of them so um yumi is like a friend of mine i also consider her like a mentor of mine she's just very knowledgeable when it comes to the entrepreneurship space so long story short i was like okay fine since that was one of the books that she had on the list uh, we're, we're reading that so I'm almost we're almost done with it and long story short reading that book there's a lot of um, practical tips and long story short he got me now hanging up a bunch of my stuff so I want to show you guys I finally hung up so this had been up here so I was featured in an article on um, Nurse Blake and so I hung this but get this I was it was a three page spread so like I had this but then I was like oh my gosh like I don't have a frame and I actually I bought this frame from Goodwill I found this at Goodwill and so I was able to put the two pages I did have to kind of like bet uh fold these sides but yeah and that's uh, my friend Brittany's back of her head and I couldn't get Jessica but Jessica my friend Jessica's in there too and then this is one of the yoga classes that I taught so anyways I now have this little corner and then this was a, a painting um my friend got me or like a drawn it's it's a painting that my friend got me and this is a um, be rooted uh uh, calendar so these two things had been up here but then after reading James Clear book I was like you know what let me finally hang these things and I'm lately also like into um using what I have and like not making excuses or buying more things you know I still do buy stuff don't get me wrong but I'm like okay let me look and see what I have in the house and then so I also did this reading corner so um, I put a paint, um, one of another painting that that same friend got me, I put that in this corner so you'll see. And then I'm still trying to figure this out, but I wanted to make it a little bit cozy. So I decided to put a blanket and then I'm using, this is so, sorry, it's shaky, but this I'm using, which you see it? <laughs> this is um, a meditation pillow that I'm gonna use for now as like my poof. Cause eventually I wanna get like a poof to elevate my feet while I read in my reading corner. Um, I'm not sure about this right here, but I decided to put that there. There's just some more books because my bookshelf area that is attached to my desk is full and the bookshelf that I have in my husband's office is, it, I could probably put stuff over there. But anyways, I don't know if I really like how this, right, like with the records, but 
that's how we have it. But that was on my list today on my top three was to organize the reading corner. So I did that. So yeah, if you guys have any other ideas of what we should do, but that's the corner. And then I also, you probably already saw that, I hung up this, which was um, uh, an award I got for completing uh, two years as director of Women on the Rise Orlando. And um, Arlene, shout out to Arlene, she already had framed it. So all I had to do was hang it. Shout out to the people that give you like awards and things like that, but they frame it for you. Cause that's a whole thing in itself, right? You get the thing, but then you're like, crap, I gotta buy the frame. Um, and frames can be a little pricey. So anyways, I did everything on my to-do list, which is great. About to take the kids to the park. Um, and then that's really it for the day. So yeah, I just wanted to share the like the productivity hack, if you will, is read self-help books. And like, I feel so accomplished. Like, and I'm purposely leaving, I'm not showing all of the office space, but I'm purposely leaving that wall for when I teach virtual yoga classes. I like there to be like minimal distractions. So maybe eventually I'll paint this wall, but I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Thank you. 